The first section under portrait retouching in Avoto is the blemish removal. One way to start is by taking the slider and moving it all the way to the right. You'll see how much of a difference it made in the photo before and after. There are two sections under this, freckle and acne. If she had freckles and I were to move this to the left, the freckles would come back. I'm going to show you this with another photo. In this photo, we're going to turn it all the way up to the right. You can see the before and after. What I want you to notice is it did get rid of a lot of her freckles. So we're going to move the freckle slider to the left. and It brought back some of the freckles. If you'd like to bring back more, use the manual tuning tool, which is right here. Click on that. You can make your size of your brush bigger or smaller. I'm going to keep a small one in this case. I'm just going to paint over some of these freckles. And hit OK. And you'll notice they came back. To demonstrate this more, look at this section of the nose. She has some freckles right here on her nose. Watch what happens when I click on OK. They came right back. This is the before and after. After moving the slider all the way to the right, you can reduce it if you'd like to bring back some of the imperfections. In this case, for demonstration, I'm going to leave it all the way to the right. When working on men, sometimes when you use the freckle and acne, in this case, I'm going to go all the way up, you'll notice that the beard disappeared. Scroll down till you find beard protection. There are two ways to fix this. First, click on the beard protection. You notice the beard came back. But if you look at the original, some of it's still missing. So just go up to the manual tooting brush. Just go over the beard area. Click on OK, and it's back. Let's look at the eye wrinkle reducer. You notice here these lines on the eyes? Let's move this to the right. Look how much better that is. Also, I do want you to notice in this image a little face mole right here. With the face mole, just turn that on and it's gone. The reduced face shine will take some of these bright areas and reduce them a bit, flattening the image out. You can experiment with this too. Doesn't have to be all the way up. Maybe I just want to take a little bit of the face shine out. The face forehead wrinkle will take away some of the wrinkles on the forehead. Put this slider all the way to the right. See how they disappear a bit? We turn it off and back on. Another very important section under blemish removal is the body blemish. Notice here on the arms, there's some blemishes. We're going to slide this to the right, and they're gone. While we're here, let's take a look at the armpit touch-up. Notice the armpit lines here. Move this to the right. Look how much nicer that is. This is your before and after. With this image as well, let me demonstrate the dark circle remover. The dark circles deal with the area right here under the eye. Slide that to the right. You'll notice how much brighter it is now. Eye bags deal with a similar area, only it goes a little bit further than the dark circles. See, I covered more of this whole area. Sure, before and after. But the lower eyelids deal specifically with the area just below the eye. I'm going to demonstrate this by moving it all the way to the left, which will give you a kind of interesting effect. See how it removed everything? So we want to bring that back in a lot. And we can get, show you the before and after of just moving it back. Here's all the way up. Here's about 76%. Again, here's your before and after. 
does a fantastic job. Using the neck wrinkle reducer can show you some amazing results. Again, just slide it to the right and notice the difference here before and after. Show you another image of the same person. Neck wrinkles on. Let me turn it off and on. Before and after. Before and after. Sometimes with the neck wrinkle reducer, you want to be very careful with it, such as when someone's looking over their shoulder, they're going to cause natural wrinkles in the neck. If you turn it all the way up, look what happens. That just doesn't look right. So let's slide it back maybe to 40%. And there's your before and after. The double chin slider. In a case of a straight on photo like this, sometimes it will shade the area underneath here to reduce the effect of the double chin. I'm going to use another image to show you what happens from the side. From a side view, the double chin remover will actually reshape the whole chin. And here you can see the before and the after. The lip wrinkle and flakes. Notice how her lips have a little bit of wrinkles in them. Just move this to the right, smooth them out completely. Glasses glare is another great feature in a photo. If we're looking at this photo here, with just one slide, it's gone. This is your before and after. The stomach stretch marks tool can be a great help in your maternity photos, as well as general photography. In this case, I already turned it on. Let me show you what happens when I turn it off. And again, turn it back on. The pregnancy line deals with more of the darker lines. See if I turn that back down, you see this line came back in. But what an amazing job. Again, here's your before and your after. So with this section alone, I'm going to show you how quickly it will be to edit this photo. Freckle and acne, body blemish, face forehead wrinkle, remove some shine, eye wrinkles, dark circle, eye bags, smile line, lip wrinkles and flakes. There's no neck wrinkle here. Some shading. Nothing else needed. This is your before and your after.